Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial on uh, laminar pipe flow in open foam. So um, here you can see I've already created a mesh in uh, Gmesh of a wedge of a pipe. Uh, we can check out the script here. So it's pretty simple. We just draw a, re a rectangle. Then we rotate the rectangle 2 degrees by this angle. And then we extrude rotate the rectangle back f 4 degrees. So the total angle of the wedge is 4 degrees. In general when we're using dealing with wedges in open foam the wedge needs to be less than 5 degrees so that's why I've cho chosen 4 degrees. Another thing to, to pay attention to is um, if you go to options geometry in general you want the geometry tolerance to be quite low. Uh, so put this to a low number like 10 to the minus 12 and then uh, we have we can save the mesh here uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, copy the tutorial of uh, a simple foam case let's say the pits daily so copy this to wherever you want to be um, there and I'm gonna rename it to, let's say, pipe uh, Reynolds number of 100 because that's what I want to solve and then copy the mesh file uh, there, this one, copy there you go okay, before we do an anything, before we create the mesh in uh, we import the mesh into open foam. We want to uh, change the write format to binary. Binary. This is to avoid a lot of errors that the wedges are not pl planar. I'm just gonna delete this function things as well, so we don't need it. Save. And then. Let's go to the case. Um, let's see. There you go. Right, gmesh to foam wedge pipe dot mesh. There you go. So it created the mesh. You can see it here that it over it overwrites the the poly mesh folder that was already there. We can go ahead and delete the block mesh dictionary. We don't need that. And go to the boundary file. Here we need to specify the the boundaries. So inlet outlet patch that's fine. So wedge zero that's the one fa face of the wedge. This is type wedge. The pipe wall is type wall. And the other wedge is also wedge. In general, then the um, these names like patch that's the generic type of boundary it has no information of a geometry or topology whereas the type wedge for example it ha it contains information that the geometry is axis symmetric and likewise the type wall is basically the same as the type wedge but uh, it's it's a good practice to to whenever we have deal with a wall to name the type of the boundary to wall. This is for example um, we need the specification if we're going to uh, use wall functions in turbulence modeling for example. Okay so save this then go back to let's say the boundary conditions um, to the U um, let's say inlet let's have one meter per second inlet outlet and then this was named pipe wall and uh, 
wedge zero and wedge one. Um, this is just gonna be type wedge and the other the other one as well, type wedge, pipe wall is the no slip condition. Yep. And the pressure as well. Inlet zero gradient outlet fixed value, yep. And then the pipe wall. Pipe wall is zero gradient. Wedge zero is type wedge. <coughs> And wedge one is also type wedge. There we go. Uh, inlet. Yeah. Uh, we're almost ready. Um, let's see the transport properties. We want the Reynolds number number to be a hundred, and the geometry, the diameter of, of the pipe was one, and the velocity was also one. So, f for a Reynolds number of hundred, we need this to be ten to the minus two. Um, save the rest properties. We want this to be a laminar flow, so just laminar there. Uh, I guess we can... I don't think it matters when uh, we have the RAS model to be a laminar, but just to be sure sure we can put them to off. Um, let's see, okay, so now we can go to the control dictionary. You can see that the application is simple foam. Simple foam is a steady state solver. So um, there's when the equations are solved there is no time to derivatives. So it's quite confusing that we still need to specify a bunch of parameters that deals with time. But the point is that in simple foam you always want your delta t to be 1. And the end time, the number specified by end time is the number of it iterations. Remember this is not a physical time. It's it's only the number of it iterations. So there's there's no time being solved for here. So now we specify a, th a thousand iterations. Um, the steady state solver, all, all it does is it tries to find a steady state solution to the problem. Um, I won't go into all the numerical schemes here, but you can, uh, if you want to check it out. Uh, I think, I don't think there's any more left, so let's tr try to, to look at it. Um, a simple phone. There you go. So now it's running. Okay, so and now the simulation is done. So now we can try to view it in Paraphone, in Paraview. Let's see. Let's uh, click apply there and click U. And let's try to run it. Okay, so you can see that it has found a steady state solution. You can see there's no difference in the solution if I go back in iterations. Remember, this is not time, this is iteration number. So um, we can, for example, what we can do is that we can. Um, Let's say plot the velocity across different l lengths here. So let's apply a plot over line filter. Um, let's, for example, plot that across this line. So x is zero, zero, and then this is zero as well. Remember this because uh, we made our geometry so it was symmetric across this, the c axis. There you go. 
So you can see that it has indeed that the velocity profile here indeed is approaching a parabolic uh, um, velocity profile as predicted in the um, for the analytical solution for Poisson flow. We can change the line. Let's go to one. So you can see it's more and more pointy. Remember that for the analytical solution, when the, the when the velocity profile is fully developed, then the the um, maximum velocity is twice what the average velocity is. And our, in our case, the average velocity was one meter per second. So when this <coughs> value approaches a value of two, then the velocity profile would be fully developed. Uh, we can try to go to plot the line at two. And you can see it's it's approaching a value two, but it's not, still not fully developed. And a value of two point five as well. Just to see how the velocity looks. Okay. So there you have it. That's how you solve a laminar pipe flow with simple foam in open foam. Thanks for watching.